What is up, boneheads? It's your favorite skeleton death, and I am back in with, um, Boyfriend Dungeon. The, I saw this game a long time ago, and I, uh, I thought it was an interesting concept. So I was like, okay, yeah, let's do this. Involves exposure to unwanted stalking and other forms of emotional completely with care and take breaks as needed. Okay, yeah. Oh, hold on. Let me just adjust this a bit. I'll at least move it to the middle of the screen. There we go. Okay. All right, we're gonna create the character. Uh, there we go. Um, let's go with tough eyes. Not a whole lot, but... Oh, yeah. Hold on. Alright. Uh, yeah, this'll do. This game sometimes sends you supportive text messages from a character named Mom. Is that okay? If your answer, we will disable these messages. Yeah, that, that's okay. Final boarding call for Verona Beach. All passengers, please board immediately. Verona Beach. Is this like the overhead map that we're seeing right now? A preview of that? Okay. Hey, welcome to Verona Beach, cuz. It's me, Jesse. Oh, this is fully voice acted. Nice. I can give my voice a break. Thank it's God. Been ten years, huh? Your mom said you'd grown up, but I had no idea. You're so much taller. Thanks. Sorry, I just remember you as a little kid. <laughs> Cousin problems. Okay. I was in college, and you were like in the fifth grade or something, back before California. Uh, before... What happened in California? Doesn't matter. Come on. I'll show you your room for the summer. He leads you upstairs. Ah, oh, that's cool. You know, we can imagine these things instead of animating them. You can stay here till my lease runs out in September. Oh, okay. So, oh, all right. All right. So not everything is voice acted. I moved out to live with my partner last month, so you get rent free. Plus, we'll have the whole summer to solve your little problem. Uh, what problem? Your mom said you hadn't gone on a date like your whole not in your whole life. Well, I'm aromantic. Sorry that I don't fit your existence, dude. It's not a big deal, but I'll do what I can to help you. It'll be a summer of love. I'm not interested, thanks. <laughs> or if you prefer, a summer of totally platonic uh, friendly hangouts. Those are good, too. I'm not a pickup artist, but pretty sure I can teach you something about meeting people. Um, weird way to say hello to your cousin after all these years, my dude. I'm not going to lie. As long as you're willing to be a little adventurous, you've come to the right place. Verona Beach is a town of lovers, so it's best to keep your eyes and mind open. I won't guarantee you'll fall in love, but a date shouldn't be too hard to arrange. What do you think? 
So, what do you think your main problem is? Uh, oh, oh, these are. I relate to all of these. <laughs> uh, nobody appreciates me. Possible. Though, that's the kind of thing a jerk would say, just so you know. The first step in love is finding someone with similar interests and talking uh -huh. to them. So let's get you some confidence. Yeah, let's do that. Pretty soon, we'll find you someone who likes playing video games in your mom's basement and eating Hot Pockets forever. God, oh, wow. I, I hurt myself with psychic damage. There's a new fitness fad in Verona, perfect for meeting people and facing your fears. You romance swords and crawl into dungeons. It's weird as fuck, man. I think they just put you on drugs. You have to have an open mind, though. You ready? It's dungeons! Uh, look, I'm not gonna shame your kink or anything, but... No, no, uh, no, <laughs> oh my fucking god! <laughs> the game predicted me! <laughs> Though I guess there are some pa uh, parallels. Never mind, uh, don't think about it. You know, dungeons from like video games or D&D. &D, like that, but in real life. There are more monster infestations lately, so people kill them for money. It's great for building confidence and also getting a workout. Plus, wait, uh, hey, I wanted to ask, can you, uh, turn it, uh, can you turn into a weapon? No. Can people usually do that? <laughs> like, I, I don't know. I mean, I'm a skeleton. I, I, humans, can you do that? Uh, legit question. I can try. You squeeze your eyes sight and imagine turning to a sharp, so, into a sword, long and sharp. You open your eyes to see if it worked. Nope, your hands are still there. Same old you. Aw. Uh, don't look so sad, cuz. You can't do it, right? Me neither. Guess it doesn't run in the family. Transforming's big and ver I So everybody's just a polymorph. That's good to know. Around here, people like us are called wielders. At least, around the weapon folk. You'll do great. I am confused and intrigued. Especially after you get a combat lesson from a sword friend of mine. I arranged one for this afternoon without consenting me first? You didn't even ask me about this? Okay. Feel your heart start to thump heavily. Meeting someone already? Ba bump ba bump. Jesse's eyes widen and he shakes his head. Stop. Take a deep breath. It's not a date. It's a lesson. He's a bit of a straight edge anyway. Remember, wielding isn't romantic. Perfectly platonic friends can wield each other. This um. <laughs> uh. <laughs> That sentence sounds like a euphemism. <laughs> the important thing is that you're stronger together. <laughs> so whenever you're ready, get out there and go to the mall. The mall has monsters? <laughs> Apparently, something to do with common fears, I don't really know. Ask Isaac! He's been waiting inside. He's a fencing teacher and a perfect professional. And in the meantime, I'll set you up on a proper date. Always check your text messages. Jesse goes to leave, then pauses. Ah, oh, I forgot uh, to give you a little tour, but this is sort of all there is. All yours. I have an idea on how you could use some of the shell, but we can talk about that after you settle it. Feel free to use the mirror anytime you want if you want a new look. No pressure. See you, cuz! Jesse leaves. Okay, uh, cool, thanks. Um, fucking what? <sighs> hey, it's Jesse. Now you have my number. Don't forget to meet Isaac at the mall. Also, I just saw on the news that there is a weapon thief out there. 
Weapon people are going missing. Stay safe. I... I... Why? I... I'm so confused. Okay, um, here, I guess? We're going here. Be careful. It's a dungeon. Okay. I, chat, I'm confused. Rona Mall, first floor, um, okay. Whoa. S sword? You find a long, thin blade. The hilt fits nicely into your grip. A man's voice verberates from the metal and up through the hand, making you jump. Hi, I'm Isaac. I can be polite. Pleasure to meet you. The pleasure is all mine, I assure you. But I'm indeed in a stock at times. Forgive me for remaining in this form for now. Okay. It takes some effort to change shape, and I'd rather focus on the lesson at hand. Cool. All right, sure. Your hand on my hilt is as good a handshake as any, after all. Okay. Um, again, feel like that's a euphemism, but I'm going to let that go. Now, if you take a look around, you'll see we're in a mall. Yes. A dunge is a place you can confront your insecurities. I swear to God, if there are a bunch of tiny penis monsters running around here, I'm going to lose my shit. Here, your own psychology will create monsters to fight. I chose the mall because most people have fears that easily manifest here. Uh, what kind of fears? Depends on the person. Strangers, inadequacy, sterility, poverty. Yeah. Everyone's afraid of something. Yeah. Let's go ahead and look around. Let's see if we can find any monsters to fight. Okay. Boyfriend dungeon. Let's go. Alright, so this is our light attack. Heavy attack. Bit slower. Dodge. Oh, it's mom. Verona Beach is a big city. It can be dangerous. Also, listen to your cousin Jesse and watch out for Pa... Pickpockets, are you okay? Did you find the uh, apartment? I'm fine, Mom. Oh, good. Stay on your guard, okay? I love you, sweetie. I love you, too. Be good. Aw. His mom's just worried about him. His mom's just worried about him, chat. Cool. Uh, he's dead. Nicely done. Your form is rough, but you have strong potential. Not bad. After 20 years of practice, I better have something to show for it. Now, let's talk about that monster. It came from inside your mind. When I first started do it, going to the dungeon as a wheeler, I fought a lot of trucks. Yes, trucks. Strange as it is, I don't even hate trucks, and yet they manifested. There were monsters. Pickup trucks, dump trucks, even cemented grinders. It... Hi, Dory. Welcome in. We're playing Boyfriend Dungeon, and this game is trippy as hell. It was because I had some issues around masculinity and boyhood. Okay, well, thank you for the lurk, and I uh, hope you enjoy. Probably for my father. Eventually, I worked through that and killed a boss monster truck. It felt good. <clears throat> oh, okay. Awesome. Well, have fun. And thank you again for the lurk. My point is, is that your phone monster could mean a few things. 
<clears throat> Maybe you fear connections to other people and intimacy. No, I'm not afraid. Maybe you fear helplessness, crawling like a worm the way it did. We'll figure it out as we explore. How deep does it go? As deep as your insecurity, so in a way, it's up to you. Uh, we'll go just as deep as we can today. If we get too tired and collapse, that's okay. We'll still keep any treasure we find. To avoid fainting, look for beverages. Tea, coffee, that sort of thing. Keeps your spirits up. You can hold up to three at a time and use them when you need. One last observation. You use the power of zines in combat. Press the zines button to use your dragon zines and breathe fire. Maybe you can find a new zine or even make your own. But make sure you don't rely as their use is limited. So be brave and let's fight the best we can. Together we can overcome anything. Okay. Whoa, these things are weird. Well, that couldn't have, well, that could have gone much worse. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. What's that? Okay, some sugar. It's a sword. How did it get here? <laughs> the hilt is cool. Almost cold to the touch, but it quickly warms under your hand. The blade begins to transform. Oh! Whoa! Whoa. Well, hello, you two. Name's Sunder. Oh, okay, cool. Isaac Brooks. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Unusual to be here without a wielder, no? Yeah. Yeah. To be honest, I'm not really sure how I got here. Okay. Last thing I remember is someone in a cloak chanting. Hmm. And now I'm all dinged up. I must have made someone really angry if they abducted me and shipped me, whoever they are. But my luck is turning around because here you are. I didn't think anyone like you would be in the dungeon. Oh, Thanks. If you're into it. Maybe we can go on a date later. Would that be okay? Sure. Maybe together we can figure out how I got down here. I mean, who would leave me here and not keep me in their embrace forever, right? Oh. I'm glad you're okay. Me too. I'm tougher than I look. Older too, but that's a story for another day. Now I'll just cut my way out of here while you two finish up your run. I'll text you. Damage blade saunters away, seeming almost to dance. He was knocked out, damaged, and imprisoned here. Wow. Weapon forms heal quickly, as they are made from our spirits more than our bodies. Still, this is serious. I'll report our findings to the authorities. I hope the abductor can be caught. Let's keep our eye out for any other victims as we explore the dungeon. Okay. Oh god, where do they all come from? Joe Oh god, there's more! Oh my god! Oh god, oh god! Is this my fault? Ow! <sighs> oh god, okay, um... Oh, what was that? If 
Feel the prayer manage gently bring you back to the surface and back to consciousness. You're bone tired, but otherwise unharmed. You realize you're still holding a sword. Our first blessing. Would you mind releasing me? Oh, sure, sorry. No at all. Blade begins to transform. Okay, this guy's cool. Truly, <laughs> Nice to meet you. Pleasure to train with you. Thank you. But I must get back to work. If I may say, your fencing style is rough, but has unusual potential. Hmm. If you're interested in refining your form, come by my office. I have the gear necessary for lessons. Okay, cool. Thanks. We still have no leads on finding the source of your insecurities that form these monsters. So feel free to call upon me in the future when you need a dungeon delving partner. Until next time, then. With a small bow, he strides away. Uh, I met the sword man. <laughs> Wait, don't answer that. Let's okay. Hey, cuz. I heard you uh, picked up Isaac, and he says you're a natural. You found another sword too. Oh, two swords in one day. What are the odds? Anyway, I'm glad it worked out. Isaac says you might be afraid of technology or change. Either way, I trust you'll work on it together. Even if you're not into him, it's good be it's good practice being normal alone with a handsome stranger. In case, you know, you might get nervous at all about the idea of dating. I'm not nervous. As you open your mouth to speak, your trunk feels that you fall silent. Nerves are that bad, huh? At least you gained a bit of confidence. Well, lucky you, I went to high school with a guy that runs a sword shop. And he's single. At least that's what Eric's online profile says. I haven't seen him in person in years. He might as well be the only guy in town who knows more about swords than Isaac. But I got his number. Uh -huh. There we go. He's free for coffee tomorrow. Are you in? Uh, yeah. Let's do it. That's the spirit. It's mostly a practice date anyway. Tomorrow morning, 11 a.m., he'll be at Kicks, the cafe just down the street. Remember, it's just coffee. Talk about dungeons, get to know him. Summer won't last forever, and you gotta meet new people sometime. So let's uh, roleplay as some practice. It'll be here. I'll be Eric. No pressure. Just try it out. Okay, you just entered the cafe. I'm Eric, and I'm sitting there waiting for her. What do you say? Hi. You try to say hi, but your breath catches in your throat and you start coughing. Hmm. Maybe try in a mirror tonight. This might be more work than I thought, but that's okay. You'll do fine. Practice makes perfect. Good luck tomorrow, cuz. Jesse leaves. You have a few extra hours. We'd spend the evening. Uh, browse the internet. Catch up on the news. It looks like everyone's angry about something. Oh, God. You get bored and do a little social media research on Eric. You don't see much about his personal life, but you find his weapon shop. Looks like they call him... It's called Naked Steel, and it has, a, has two ratings. One reads, the owner's a real expert. Good prices and service. Five stars. No, that Naked Steel, not a porn store. No porn at all. Stay away. Anyway, Stan Blade Generation, one star. Eventually, you log off and go to get bed feeling more prepared. You wake up paralyzed with deep, inexplicable fear. Today will be your first date for the rest of your life. What if you're not even sure what you're afraid of, but it feels like you can't breathe? Uh, count to ten. Slowly count, focusing your thoughts. One two three eventually you feel a lot better you get up and walk down to the coffee shop 
I think the man in the corner is waiting for you. You look around and see someone hey, waving at you. You're Jesse's cousin, right? I'm Eric. Oh, nice to meet you. Tell me everything you know about swords. Do you prefer one or two-handed? Mm, two-handed sword. And I sometimes like the speed of one-handed weapons, but it's a rush to use the heft of two hands. He wiggles his eyebrows playfully. Jesse said you're a dungeon crawling type, so I thought I'd offer my help finding a weapon. Can you become a weapon? Nah, that's not really for me. Totally cool if you're into it. But my shop sells only pure steel. Sound. Some imported, some made on site. Maybe I'd give you a discount to a fellow enthusiast who gives my blades a good home. Mm. Seem like a kind of man who pre... I am. As a smith, I have a good eye for it, too. I take raw, dirty hunks of metal and then, with finesse and strength, turn them into art. Well, I try anyways. I'm still learning. Video tutorials can only teach you so much, you know? Wait, this guy is self is self-taught blacksmith? That's actually like, fucking amazing. Oh, hello, Red Eye fanboy. Uh, thank you for the lurk. And yeah, feel free to get comfy and watch me play through this game where I romance swords. Very interesting concept, but you know what? I'm down. Maybe someday I'll make something beautiful enough for you to wield. For now, here's a gift from a fellow craftsman. Maybe something you could do with these. A modern miracle. You found plastic. You found bracelet recipes. Check it out at your workbench. You think you can make something out of this stuff? Anyway, I should be getting back to the shop. Want to go on a proper date? Maybe I'll be more... Maybe I need more frivolity in my life. I'd enjoy that. Mm-hmm. <coughs> If you need a weapon, maybe I'll see you again anyway. Ciao. Eric leaves. Okay. You head home. I'm a, I'll am provide equipment at my office. Books. Associates, if you wish. Sincerely, Isaac. Let's train. Looking forward to it. Okay, before we talk to our cousin, let's uh, let's wait. Okay, so that's what the that's what the zine is for. It's basically our spells. All right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, let's see. Uh, craft a bracelet. Oh, cool! Yay! We crafted a bracelet. Awesome! It it's a gift. Don't really have anything else. But okay, uh, can we leave and do stuff? Can't go. Brooks Associates. Um, can we? Let's go talk to him. You stopped at Isaac. You're stopped at Isaac's office by his assistant. Excuse me. Do you have an appointment with Mr. Brooks? Well, hello. Death, you made it, Christine. Death is always welcome here. Death is always welcome here. God, you know. Sometimes I think about my name on Twitch, and I just like, okay, that's a thing, I guess. Yes, Mr. Brooks. It's good to see you. I was hoping you would take up my offer. Let's begin. Do you prefer soil, uh, foil, saber, or peed? Uh, saber. So you wish to, if you were more quick and decisive. Interesting. We shall see. Now ready yourself. Don't mind the office equipment. I do this all the time. He shrugs on his fencing gear with practice ease. Now stand up straight with your blade out towards my heart. Turn to... Regard me from the side, over the shoulder and hip. This is the on guard stance. You're quite literally on guard. 
You will begin with the basic movements. Look into my eyes, advance towards me, foot forward, then foot back. Front foot, then back foot. Step forward. Try lifting your toes first. Don't cross the legs. Now, in foil, you can only score by hitting the torso and saber, the upper body. But in the dungeons, you don't need to score points with any judges. I suppose that would mean we should use appeed rules at any count. Let's try a lunge attack then. Extend your front leg with all your weight, keeping your front foot flat. No bent ankle. You lunge heavily forward, feeling a little awkward. Not bad, you have talent. Oh! Oh! Okay! So romancing them gives me better, uh... Gives me, like, different abilities with their weapon forms. Okay, let's see. Holding roll lets you counterattack if used just before an incoming attack. Okay, okay, awesome! Huh, it looks like we've reached a new loan door, so now you can parry with me. The more time we spend together, the better we'll be able to fight together. This means something different for each weapon, but for me, parrying is a friends-only maneuver. To parry in the dungeon, hold the dodge button just before the enemy attacks to automatically counter. This is a special move only you and I can do together, so don't forget. You can also check out our parry in the combo details in your phone later. For now, shall we take a break? He loosens his gloves and removes his fencing gym. That was like two minutes of lessons. What are we doing? If you like to keep training, perhaps we should get to know each other better. Hmm. Uh, what do you do, exactly? These days, I'm an investor. I've been quite successful with, sli with Slickar. What about you? You're a dashing dungeon, dungeon hero, right? Mm -hmm. What do your parents know about your dangerous profession? Do they pr prove? Mom always supports me. I'm glad she respects your choices. It's heartening to know such parents exist. Does your mother adopt? <laughs> Isaac falls silent for a moment, though, thoughtful. I do prefer life on the straight and narrow. There's a knock on the door. One moment, please. Isaac, what are you doing? Who is this? Shouldn't you be working? Said one minute, please. You can wait in the lobby. You're So you're just going to keep a guest waiting while you fuff about? Vincent, you're 20 minutes early for our appointment. I thought I might have some priority in the life of my only child. Uh, pleased to meet you, Mr. Brooks. I'm sure meeting me is probably the highlight of your week. I'm terribly... It seems I am occupied. I'll text you to set up our next appointment. You're texting now? You should... What's next in your slumming schedule? Will you drink from a water from plastic bottles too? Horrifying. What a douche! Are there any depths you won't stoop to? You slip out of the door. You're Vincent yell about having low standards and making disgraceful choices. Isaac responds too quickly for you to hear. You head home. Ah, poor Isaac. Sorry, but do you care for business talk? I love it. Perhaps I'll advise you when I'm next audited then. I'm not a fan myself. Fuck! Maybe I'll explain how I got into this someday. Honey, I know you've always been afraid of change, and I'm glad you're facing your fears. I believe in you, but Jesse says you're fighting monsters. I hoped you'd pick a less dangerous career, like cobra wrestling or wreck diving. How are those less dangerous? I'll be careful, Mom. Good. That's my boy. If something happens to you, I don't want 
I don't know what I'd do. Of course I support you no matter what, but be safe. I will. Thank you. You did it. You went on a date. Sort of. How'd it go? Uh, yeah, it was nice. You taught me how to make a bracelet. Wait, really? I mean, I'm happy for you, but you still have most of summer left. Mo meet more people before you propose. You're now in definitely more dating experience than you had than you were yesterday. Plus, I'll find you another date venture soon. I want to date weapons. Yeah, fuck it. I want to date all the weapons. I'll see what I can do. I promised your mom I would help after all. So I'm going to find you someone nice. Chill in Dungey for now. Or use the crafting table. You get you can craft uh, supplies, clothes, and other stuff from shops around town too. I'll let you know when your next date is up. Okay, cool. Oh, it's Sunder. Oh, Red Eyes Fanboy. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Welcome to the Bonehead crew, and uh, feel free to get comfy as we uh, just as we talk to all these swords. You like dancing? Yeah. Yes. Come to my club, Rosa VIP. I'll be there. Hey, and we appreciate lurkers around here. Lurkers are the backbone of every streamer. So yeah, if you want to come in here and get all nice, comfy, and cozy while you, while you listen to me play games, I'll always appreciate that and I'll always appreciate anyone coming in here. But yeah, have a chill time and I am going to go to this nightclub now and see what I can find out about this sword. Okay, uh, yeah, let's go. La Rosa, let's go. Sword. I wish to date I wish to date the Spanish sword now. Hmm? Name. The bouncer unclips the velvet rope and you step inside. Sunder is venting to a woman sitting next to him in the VIP area. But I just can't feel a real connection, you know? Join the club. Without love, what's the point? Hey, Death, do you believe in soulmates? Absolutely. Sunder hesitates, eyeing you. You wonder if you said something wrong. I think I do too. I just keep getting so disappointed. I don't know. I'm not sure anymore. Oh, well, fuck. Oh, we've already got him at level one? Okay. That was fast. Uh, love rank level one. I like this guy. Cut. Finishers cause enemies to bleed. They make it look so easy in the movies. Uh. Romance has been dead at least 500 years. Yeah, so Death, this is Mandy. She's my business partner, co-owner of the club. Charmed, I'm sure. And what kind of sword do you turn into again? No, he's a wielder. I literally told you five minutes ago. Are you listening at all? What do you say? Uh. You know, never mind. This is a good song. It's time to dance. I'm feeling healed from my abduction and dungeon outing. What about you? Let's dance. Yes. Tonight, we dance like we're going to die in 50 years. Woo! Uh, what? We are? Whatever, idiot. Mandy kisses the bouncer on the cheek as she leads you and Sunder to the dance floor. Sunder mostly sw and sinks it sips his drink but mandy dances with abandon you can feel the music thumping in your chest play it cool you bob your head to the rhythm mandy takes it to dance very very close to you sunder smiles and leaves the dance floor in the direction of the bathroom mandy leaves in her breath warm in your ears you should really be careful little one sunder eats up lovers one by one he seems nice, but he's a double-edged. I know you said you're looking for a soulmate, so... Believe me, Sunder isn't it. He lies, and he's dangerous. Sunder's using you. Proof of it is his addiction, but he's too selfish and violent to be a good boyfriend. Then why are you his friend? 
I can be friends with assholes. I just don't date them. But I like you. You're sweet. Just trying to help. Be helpful. Anyways, I gotta go. Good luck. Mandy kisses you on the cheek and leaves. The crowd parts around a sword that seems to be dancing its way towards you. Mandy left, huh? Just the two of us. Let's enjoy this moment. I prefer your human form. As you wish. Better. You dance together late into the night until you're breathless and sweaty. Eventually the night is over. You head home. Oh, cool. Wow. Oh, wow. Got a lot of messages. Let's... Okay. Hey. I'm really glad it, Jesse introduced uh, us. Me too. You should come by Naked Steel sometime. Our skit matars are... Have uh, sliding curves. Special price for a special guy. What do you say? See you there. I'll be waiting and hoping. Jesse says you went on a date. They better have treated you well. You only deserve the best, you know. Thanks, Mom. Sorry, sorry. I'll let you do your thing. But if they hurt you, tell them Mama will take care of it. Oh, fuck. Um, mom, they're swords. <laughs> hey, cutie, sorry if I'm too flirty. You can tell me to back off, but this is how I am. You're a good dancer. You are, too. <laughs> Let's go again sometime. Can I craft anything else? It... The only recipe I have are the bracelets. Okay. <laughs> you approach the historic El Grandio Theater and it's on remarkably unhistoric ticket machines. How much more? I. Fuck! I've only like got like a dollar ninety. Welcome. Okay. So this is where you get new clothes. It can, I can also pick up fabric. Isaac and Sunder seem to be arguing over something. I know you're trying to help and I appreciate that, but you have to believe me. I don't mean to doubt you, but it's just that a 2% interest rate is unheard of. You sure you read the paperwork correctly? Do you have a copy? I got that loan a long time ago from a uh, family. Well, that makes slightly more sense. Love money can be very forgiving. Just answer the question, should I pay it back as soon as possible or not? Normally I'd say yes, I have been burned many times by missing, mixing family and finance. But it depends on your savings. What's your club's burn rate anyway? No open flames allowed in here. No fashion shows either. Zero, I guess. Let's try one more time. How much do you spend every month? Now there's a tough run. It depends on how much I spend on gifts and special occasions. What do you think, Death? Should I buy something nice this month? If you want. Oh, you know I always want. <laughs> Sunder Grim shame grins shamelessly. You know, Isaac, death, death is an expensive friend to have. 
I'm late for my next appointment, I'm afraid. If you'd like to continue this, perhaps next time, bring a few bank statements and pay yeah. stubs. Stubs? I prefer to pay people their whole paycheck. Thank yes. you. Yes, of course. I'll prepare my advance accordingly. Good luck with your business, Sunder. It was lovely to see you, Death. Yeah, yeah next time, bottle service on me for both of you. Okay, so we just... Uh, sometimes there are random events in the city map that we can just be like, Oh, hey, what's up, guys? Alright. Hmm. Nothing doing there. Uh, can't buy anything because I'm poor. Let's go to Naked Steel. <laughs> The shop smells of dust and oil. You spot Eric behind the register, reading a book. You came. Hi. I'm so glad you're here. Voice actor sounds familiar. I'll have to check the credits later. Slow day. Nice shop. Thanks. We just restocked our spadroon supply. Let me give you a tour. Verona Beach knuckleheads mostly want switchblades and razors, but... We carry the finest blades, some even made on-site in my private smithy. I also teach classes at Verona Beach College about the history of war. Hmm. Tell me, what's your favorite weapon? Hmm. Toll War. Hmm. Interesting. Most people know of the scimitar, but you're into rarities. Hmm. Ah. Wait, you mean a weapon person? Right, of course. Right, of course. Wait, do you, are, is he... Is he, oh my god, is he racist against weapon people? Is, does Eric hate weapon people? Is he anti-weaponist? It's naturally fascinating wielding someone else in battle, trusting them with your life. Sometimes I wonder who Excalibur would transform to if it were a person. But then I remember Sun Tzu and Napoleon and Genghis Khan. People win wars, death, not weapons. Weapons are just tools. Wielders make the decisions, the strategies, the tactics. It's not polite to say, and pure humans aren't superior, but the truth is, is that we're better suited to leadership. If you say so, you don't have to be shy about your unpopular opinions. I knew you're a smart guy. You see how the world, like me, I have a little project I think you'd be interested in. I'm forging a new, an important kind of weapon. Way smarter than that idiot Tall War you'll like so much. Wait, is he just jealous? What the fuck's going on? <laughs> I don't know why they call this... Want to call this Supreme Sword yet. Why? I aspire to be a greatest swordsmith as Goro Nelda Masamune someday. If this blade is my opus, maybe it deserves the name Masamune. I bet it'll make me rich too, even though the idea itself is simple. Hmm. I just want to make a weapon with a little bit of intelligence. It doesn't need its own thoughts and feelings and baggage. Think of it, the ultimate weapon with all the insightful tactical insight and none of the drama. Makes sense. Thanks for saying. So many wielders are bleeding hearts. But reality is harsh, the way I see it. A perfect servant will always be more loyal than an equal. The sooner you realize you can only rely on yourself, the better warrior you'll be. Oh, so I can buy materials here, and looks like, you know, it's pretty... Oh, you can... Catch you on the sharp side, cutie. You head home. Yeah, I'm gonna head home. I, uh... So, why I prefer steel to each their own. Exactly. 
I mean, there isn't anything wrong with weapon people. They're just not for me. Can't really expect a person to sit in a case looking pretty all day, can you? You could pay them. Right. Yeah, I don't like Eric. I don't like Eric at all. <laughs> My cousin set me up with a weapon racist. What the fuck? Okay, um... Let's try Sunder this time. They saw moisturizer here. Mm, okay. Don't oh, fuck. I did not expect something to just jump out at me. Fuck. Die. Oh, cool. Money. Kill these things. Die, 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 Oh, man. We got through the first... Uh, yeah, let's go. Next level. All right. Let's do a little test, see if that'll actually stay there. What's this? The hilt is wrapped in several layers of leather and the double-edged blade is chipped. What the hell? Could you not just like grab me without warning? Oh, uh, sorry. Is all choose your weapon, but consent is important. No, I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm sorry too. I didn't mean to snap. I just I'm not sure what's going on. I was out at night, as you do, and then, bam, I'm here, my blade hurts, monsters everywhere. Yeah. I'm Valeria. Nice to meet you. Sort of. You were abducted. I guess so. And damaged, too. Normally, I'd switch to human form around now, to be polite. But I don't know you. I'm still recovering from whatever just happened. I'd rather play it safe. And I'm certainly not going to put myself in a stranger's hands and let you use me. I'll trust you too. <laughs> True. I'm the one with the sharp edges. But I could use some extra cash though, so... I'll keep in touch. Ciao, for now. Okay. Pleasure to meet you. That was weird. But I found a dagger, I guess. Oh, I can swing away the... Uh... Oh. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. There's so much. Oh, my God. There's so much happening. Okay. 
Let's let's see. Did, how did my experiment go? Yes, it kept. Nice. Okay. We can, we can take them? Yeah, we can take them. We got this. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Woo! Dodge roll. Dodge roll. Roll, 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 roll. Roll. Yeah. One down. One down. One down. Okay, let's get another one. Ugh. Can't give it a chance. Woo! Oh god. The most dangerous one is this one shooting me. Challenge completed. Nice. Okay. You found a blue helmet recipe? Okay. Sunder eyes the statue up and down and then folds uh. his arm. There have already there have been millions of people in history that fought and loved and died. And the sculptor chose to make something cute. Pff, whatever, I guess. Everyone gets their kick somewhere. What about yours? Me? You could probably guess. I like dancing. Necks and wrists. And inner thighs. And... Sunder, you are a man after my own heart. <laughs> you, obviously. Seems like being your weapon is my main kink. Let's get back to it, then. Fucking... Playboy over here! Taking me for a spin, I guess. Oh, yeah, we got all our healing back. Nice. And on to the next level. Let's go. Oh, you can change weapons mid dungeon? That's good to know. Come on. I will say one thing. The character in this is the slowest motherfucker I've ever seen. Oh my god. Why do I... Is there a sprint? Please tell me there is a sprint button. I need there to be a sprint button. Careful. What are you talking about? Nah. Oh, ice cream? Hmm, no thanks. Can't have the calories impacting my boyish physique after all. Why do people think people come to the mall anyway? It's so sterile. Mm, to buy things. Hmm, maybe. But markets have been around a long time without being this cold. But I guess they're on the way out. Online shopping won't make a good dungeon. All the more reason to clean out the monsters. Let's get back to it. Oh, he's not a fan of malls? I guess not. He does he does strike me as the kind of guy who would like to go to like uh like a like a hometown bazaar. Which you know actually that's kind of fun. 
You found glass, the evolved form of sand. Okay. <laughs> Offers several choices. Oh, what's the... Feel something rumbling beneath your feet. A hole opens where the... Mysterious. Climb down into the darkness. Sup? I gotta save up my money from the dungeon. And stop defeating mons- Stop getting defeated by the likes of yours. They allow humans down here now? Pfft, I thought this place was exclusive. It seems you're worthy in shopping- Worthy to shop at the heart of Verona. Okay, I'm buying this. What the frick was that? Okay, we're gonna change weapons. Gonna change to the Apeed now. Let's see. Oh, we're on floor four already. Oh, can we go back up? Nope, we cannot. Shame. He doesn't have as wide an arc. You found liquid. Hydration is important. Yes, yet yeah, very important. Oh, what the... Should I, should I go in? Bullocks. Challenge complete. Okay. You found a single malt scotch recipe. Okay. Wow. So there were secrets. I lo I'm liking this game, actually. Like, I was just all about, like, the, oh, romance swords. That sounds fun kind of thing earlier, but damn, this is actually really fun. Not a fan of the Apeed. Not a fan. Luke, uh, uh, Isaac, my dude, I, I need you to swing in a wider arc. Oh, ice skating. I haven't done this in years. Isaac ties up his skates and you... S and you start gliding on the ice. He holds out his hand. He smiles and skates just a bit faster, gently pulling you along. When I was ten or so, my father took my family up to Canada for the winter, so we know what real cold was like. I mostly hated it, but there was a big frozen lake the kids all skated on. I felt so freeing to be alone on the ice with just your thoughts. Or with a friend I could trust. Isaac smiles. Maybe that's why I should... I enjoy going to the dungeon with you. Thanks. You're very welcome. Thanks to you as well, my dear. Uh, yeah, let's offer him a gift. Uh... Yeah. Oh, I'd rather not if it, it suits you better. Oh. I... I guess... I guess he didn't like my gift that okay that's cool that's cool i'm not gonna cry i'm gonna cry i'm gonna cry isaac hated my gift he found raspberry liquor recipe 
Oh shit, it's another challenge room. God. Okay, fuck. Let's do this. Let's do it! Okay, kill the one that's shooting. Fuck. Oh god, there's a round two. Oh god, oh god. Forgot that's a corner. Unfortunate. Oh, there we go. Oh, we killed a lot. Oh, wow, that is a lot. Oh, we hit level three, okay. Oh, level four, never mind. Whoa! Okay. <laughs> Jesus. There was a lot. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, got a lot of messages. Okay, um... Wanna meet up sometime? Sure. Uh-huh. <laughs> I was just feeling extra sharp today. Ooh, tell me more. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it just keeps going. Like, okay, so I'm gonna be honest. Like, I got this game because I was just like... Well, yeah, I put it on my wish list a long, long time ago because it ended up in my recommendeds. And, um... It was like, it was just like, hey, here's a game you might be interested in. And I read about it and I was just like, well, okay, that sounds like an interesting concept, sure. So, but now that I'm actually playing it, this game is actually, um, kind of nuts balls and I love it. It's like my edges is scraping against your hot wheat, your whetstone until it's keen, aching, ready to part flesh. Okay. <laughs> like, all right, I, I don't... Who are the writers for this game? Because they're fucking geniuses. I gotta hand it to them. These people are amazing, actually. Um, <laughs> show me. Yeah, show me, Sunder. Oh, I want to say I'm blushing, but it's more than that. Maybe I'll show you more sometime. See you in the dungeon. Oh my god, is is this like? Did I just get? Did I just get a dick pic from someone who turns into a sword? I don't know what's going on. I like to practice more parries. I often practice at the office. Yes, love to Isaac. Be in the sanctuary of Sandra. <laughs> okay. Oh, shit. Oh. Hold on. Oh, crap. Hold on. Okay. Okay, there we go. Uh, sorry, my, uh, my headset doubles as my mic, and it started acting real weird out of the blue. It, like, it does this thing where it randomly disconnects. 
Jesse said you're fighting your inner demons in the dungeon, so it's kind of like therapy, but with swords? Yeah. Well, that's good. Sounds healthier than I thought. At least if you don't take any pre permanent damage. Therapy is important. Especially when you're feeling on edge. I never told you this, but I went to therapy for 12 years. It helped me grow and level up as a person. I'll try to do the same. Yeah. Let's not worry mom too much. That's my boy. It's crazy Jesse has a cousin like you. He's a loser, or was in high school. No offense. He's doing fine, Eric. Sure, as long as someone else does the work. Talk to you later. Yeah, talk, talk to you later. I want to be polite. But I don't like Eric. I really don't fucking like Eric. Hey, cuz. I didn't know Sunder well, but I heard he doesn't have the best track record, so just be careful, okay? Thanks, Dad. <laughs> ha, sorry. Let's see. Uh, inventory. Uh, <laughs> Let's see. Can I craft anything else? All right, let's see. All right, so some raspberry liquor, single malt. Uh, I need more plastic. Well, let's craft some raspberry liquor, I guess. He made raspberry liqueur. Okay, cool. Nope. Nope. Yeah, I like that. Okay, we'll go with that one. <clears throat> All right. The church sanctuary makes a surprisingly good combat training space. Really? That It does that somehow. Okay, I'm not going to question this. Huh, you're improving, but your parry is actually a bit too consistent. You could try going a bit slower or faster, or try a new parry direction. Surprise is the spice of life and fencing. Go on, take a stab at it. Parry... Quickly, parry diagonally. Hmm. Right. Yes, just like that. Perfect form. Oh, I'm you have perfect form too. What? I'm not even will. Oh, you mean. Uh, well, thank you. Uh, <clears throat> let's resume. You practice parries and lunges for a while. <laughs> parry this, you scrub. <laughs> Oh man, would I ever love to do that? Oh god, that anytime I hear that, I just think of the meme, uh, like the Dark Souls meme of like the knight pulling out a gun and like parry this, you fucking casual. <laughs> nice work. You even have me sweating. I'm just getting started. You launch into a new duel, and he doesn't spare you an inch. He deflects every thus, easily looking, knocking them aside, and scoring on you. Whoa, you're amazing. Isaac pauses to take a breath. 
And you are a flatterer, sir, but I'll take it. Thank you. I suppose regular practice has its advantages. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's always the one. Like, I always think of that. Like, even if, like, even if people say that and they don't know what meme it's actually from, I still, like, all I can do is think of that. Every time. Besides, just exercise and relieving aggression towards my father. I didn't mean to show off. I'm getting imp I get impatient sometimes, I suppose. And you handled me rather well, I must say. Ah. Post timing is more forgiving. Repose knocks enemies. Okay, I'll go with the more forgiving time. Yeah. So some of them give you choices between which one. Okay, that's pretty cool. We should get, we could continue or take a break. How are you feeling? Why are we in a church? He takes off his fencing jacket looking around. My mother raised me in this church. It's a comforting place. She wasn't as kind as your mother, it sounds like, but she did some things right. She came from or the community mostly, but I look but I took it more deeply. There are so many mysteries in this life. Death pe some people suffer, others become swords. Man, the fucking life, right? Some people suffer, some people get married and have kids, and some people become magic swords. I guess that's just a fucking thing. Mm -hmm. A purpose is helpful. Do you believe in a god of some kind? Yes, I do. Then you understand, I hope, the allure of something greater. Our beliefs are possibly quite different, but at least we can agree that love is power, not... Not just lust, real, generous, patient love. I'd like to think you can connect to everyone, no matter what deity we believe in or don't. There are so many suffering people. I want to help them all. Yeah, yeah, see, and here's the thing I'm running into. So, I like Isaac's personality, but I hate using him in the dungeon. Whereas, I'm not not super comfortable with Sunder's personality because he's a flirt and I've been told multiple times that he's dangerous, but he's really awesome in the dungeon, so what do I freaking do? I know you like talking business and I see it more as a powerful tool. I started Brooks Associates to tackle wealth inequality, but most wealthy people aren't interested. He releases a long... Exhalation, shaking his head. Anyway, I wanted to thank you for handling my father so gracefully before. Vincent can be a difficult man. Lots of saber rattling. Why don't you stand up to him? Isaac frowns, looking away. He wants what he thinks is best for me. Still, perhaps I should try to say something. But no matter how sharp I get... I can never get a word in edgewise. Also, I like that this guy is all puns. Like, seriously, every other sentence is a pun with him. And I just, I love that. How do you work up the courage to go into the dungeon even when you're afraid? I just plunge in. Yeesh. I tried that with Vincent once as a teenager. It did not end well. I think I still have a scar... Yeah, puns are fun. Puns are really fun. I think I still have a scar on my hilt from that scuffle. It was an accident, but still. We all have our own strategies for survival. Even in human form, I find it easier to parry than to go on the offensive. The crowd starts filtering in. Perhaps the service will soon start. Oh, out of time already. How it flies. Next time, I'll make sure we don't get interrupted. Mm. Yeah, let's... Oh, okay, so he likes the raspberry liquor. All right. You're very generous. I'm flattered. Good day, Death. Be well. <clears throat> you head home. Oh, you found me another date, cuz? All right. 
Was thinking of going to the park. You free? Sounds good. See you by the pond. Okay. I was so worried when you went off to VB on your own. But you're doing great facing fears, finding friends. I'm amazed. It makes me proud. My little baby bird flying on his own. It's hard without you. It's, all, it's always hard when you start off, kid. I know, sweetheart. You're doing something really hard and brave, but this is important. And independence is part of growing up. I'll be here when you need me. You'll always be my son. Thanks, Mom. I need to call my mom after this stream. This game is making me want to call my mom. Thank you for coming to practice. I'm so pleased with your progress. What's the right emoji to use? Um, bam. Okay. Let's go to the dungeon. Yeah, we'll go to the dungeon and we'll kick ass. You and me, Isaac. All right, and Sunder, what do you got, dude? Want to go to the club again? Yeah. It's a date. I'm all yours. All right, we're going to... I wonder if there are other dungeons besides the mall... First, let's go and meet this new uh, this new weapon. You arrive at the park, but you don't see anyone at first. Then you notice a metallic gleam on a nearby bench. Hello. Whoa, she's cool. Ah, that's better. She stops and gives you a piercing look up and down. Hey, wow, I really didn't get a proper look at you in the dungeon. You're cute. Yeah, like all the all the uh, swords that you come across, they all have really neat intros, and I kind of like it. They have like these neat Sailor Moon transformations. You always meet them, it seems, as weapons first. And then they have these interesting transformations where they turn into their human selves. You too. Oh, well, to tell the truth, I got a little dressed up. Thanks. By the way, thanks for meeting me in public. I know you're the one who rescued me, but I still don't know how I got down there. Or how my blade got chipped. An ironic twist, someone's clearly backstabbed me, so I'm a little jumpy. Besides, safety first, just in case you're an axe murderer. I mean... She is right. She met you in a place that was infested with monsters. Huh? Though, I suppose you're more likely to just turn out to be an axe. Not that it'd be a problem if you were. That'd be hypocritical, given my own... She leans closer and lowers her voice dramatically. Situation? So what is it? You know, your deal. You can tell me. I won't judge you. I prefer to know up front, before anything happens. I don't have a deal. Don't play games with me. Everyone has motives. Things they want, things they're willing to do. Man approaches, eyeing you suspiciously. Hello? Everything alright, V? Mm -hmm. Yeah, everything's peachy. Thanks. See you later. Man stares you down a moment longer before moving on. Sorry, that's a friend checking to see I haven't been axe murdered yet. Anyway, look, don't take this the wrong way, but your story is too convenient. 
you're from out of town, a newbie, never dated before, yet you're also charming, and if, yeah, fucking, <laughs> she's the first one in this, this, like, anime scenario to really question any of this, like, you're charming, handsome, amazing, and all of a sudden, you're, you're here in town, a newbie to the dungey, <laughs> Please, way too convenient. Don't believe. Oh, God. Nobody calls me charming. That's sweet, but I have trouble believing it. The truth is, we barely know each other. The stand. She stands. You know you have to say something or you'll never see her again. Get to know me, then. You feel a little breathless at your own daring, but Valor's eyes warm a little. I suppose that's why I came to Verona Beach. New start, new friends. Enemy is nearby, get confused when you roll out of sight. Oh, okay, so... Even if you turn out to be an evil mastermind, well, keep your enemies close. Right. Yeah, yeah oh my god. If that happens with one of the, if that happens, Red, with one of the, uh, with one of the characters, with one of the, uh, options to date in this game, I'm gonna lose it, and I will also officially proclaim this to be the best damn game ever. <laughs> Cecilia V, would you, yeah, you know what, she seems like she would like the bracelets. These are exactly my style, you have a good eye, thank yeah. you. With one last weary look, she stalks away through the park. You head home. Okay, awesome. On your way home, you notice a ro the thinking of you, Eric. You carry it inside. Oh, okay. Hey, what's up? Uh, yeah, what's up with you? Have a good day. Thanks for the rose. No need to thank me. Man like you deserves it. My business is doing well, so I'm generous. Come by my shop sometime. If you don't hate me. Um. Sure. Well, um, Eric. Yeah, sure. Next time a real date, one where I don't accuse you of being your murderer, or an axe, though I knew a nice one once. Anyway, I think my blade is mostly healed. Congrats. Thanks. I'll let you know when I can think of a date we can go on. Let's go to the dungeon in the meantime. Okay, so she trusts me to wield her. Nice. Right. Let's go to La Rosa. We're about to level up his uh, his again. You spend time at La Rosa with Sunder. After a bit of dancing, you both retire to the VIP section. Hey, let's get to know each other. Ask me anything, handsome. Uh, so you're a dancing scimitar? Hey, whoa. Telwars are completely different from scimitars. Pretty sure. But, sure, I dance plenty. I own my uh, I own this place with Mandy. Well, she owns most of it. I do keep up with the scraps. Life is for living, right? So why work? I'd rather have a good time. Okay, uh, let's see. Swagger finishers have a larger attack range. Do more damage when surrounded. We'll go with Swagger. So I spend most nights dancing. I'm glad you're here. I only have eyes for you, you know. Sunder meets your gaze with an intensity that makes you blush. His focus is broken by his phone chirping, which he looks at briefly and puts away. Uh... I'll be right back, handsome. Don't go anywhere, all right? He smiles and leaves towards the bathroom. You wait. It's probably only been a few minutes, but it feels like he's been gone for a long time. You feel an itch, a hunch, a suspicion. Maybe made of nothing but jealousy. 
Check the bathroom. You wonder if you should go after him. Your gut feels tight and hot with tension. You tell yourself not to be paranoid. Go. You decide to take a little peek to calm your nerves. You find a door or back door propped open outside. You hear giggling. You step outside and find Sunder leaning into a woman whose eyes are glazed. Is that him? Because someone... Because someone like that's watching us. Sunder leaps away from her, wrapping, wiping his mouth. What? Uh, oh, uh, hey, Teth. So this is weird. I'm going to go. No need to sneak up on a guy. I was coming back in soon. Who was that? Oh, her? She's just a friend like you. No big deal. Let's chill out a little, okay? We have so much fun together. I want to make you feel special because you are. I like you a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. But also, sometimes I want to kiss other people, and I'm sorry if that hurts. Just don't lie to me. If you insist, but don't blame me if you don't like what you hear. I'll do right by you, Death. Trust me. Yeah, okay, you know, as someone who's aromantic, I, like, I would feel like it would be better if people would just be logical about that kind of thing. Hey, thanks for coming last night. You're my fa- I crossed my heart. You're my fave, too. Okay, can I go anywhere else, you know, that isn't Eric's? Because Eric still weirds me the fuck out. Uh, I guess he does have stuff I can buy. Yeah, you'll text me never. <laughs> All right, let's go into the dungeon. We'll start at one again. that it's not so crowded yeah let's do this i got a knife and it's also a hot girl let's go this is an anime fuck yeah Woo! Oh, God. Starts right off with shooting me. Great, thanks. Ugh. Hate these things. I'd high-five you if I could. <laughs> yeah, let's keep going. We got this. All right, floor two. That is so cheap, just placing these shooty enemies right there. Mm 
Nice. Okay. Plastic and sugar. Let's go. Let's go. More stuff over here for me to break. Ah, uh, yeah. Get that muns. Get that muns. No, that was the entrance. Okay. I should have saved those. Oh, well. Uh, challenge run, extra challenging addition. Okay, got the challenge. Whoa! Oh, okay, all that was just like three bucks, okay. I thought that was a lot more. Time for a little self-indulgence, right? Sit on the massage chairs, they begin to vibrate and need your back. Ah. Uh, too soon it's over, you feel more relaxed. You feel like, okay. Huh? Do you think the monsters use Masha's chairs to relax when they're not fighting? Definitely. She laughs yeah. to herself. All these weird vibrations need special massage experts, I'm sure. Until we chop them up. Let's go. Okay. God, I'm liking this. I love this game. Holy shit. I, I thought this would be goofy as fuck, but you know what? This is a solid game. This is a really solid game. It, it, anyone watching in chat or anyone who watches the VOD later, if you have not played this game, play this damn game. It's really affordable. It, it's not too expensive. It's really fun. And honestly, like... Really damn good. I'm not gonna lie. Like, uh... not gonna lie. This game is actually really damn good. Uh, cancel. Not yet. Explore the whole, whole floor. <laughs> oh, I couldn't possibly. I don't know anything. I wasn't allowed near them, and these days I don't have the time. I'll watch you, though. They look quite exciting. What do you want to play? Uh, Street Puncher. Those little cartoons are quite violent, aren't they? The machine's buttons are a little sticky due to neglect. Eventually, you run out of tokens. Video games are surely a waste of time, but I'm glad you had fun. I need to make more gifts. Come on. There we go. Okay, and that's the way down. Oh, there's one left. See if there's any other places before I go with the five dollar option on the vending machine. I 
there's that. Some wire, okay. Yeah, that, this is my only complaint that is how slow my character moves. Climb down into the darkness. Yeah, they allow humans down here. Not enough. Ah, oh, jeez. It's barely not enough. Okay. Let's keep going. Oh my god. A lot of stuff there. That's a lot of time on the parry window. There we go. Nice. Okay. Isaac watches the water gently falling. Sometimes I wonder if the monsters come because of the beauty here. Even though the crass consumerism, there's something lovely and ethereal about a fountain. To me, it's true spirituality, enjoying a moment of light and water. Want to pray? No, no, but I certainly appreciate beauty, like you, I suppose. You spend a moment of silent contemplation. You feel an impulse, but you don't have anything to give. Okay, just gonna move this out of the way and save you for later as I break this thing. Move you again. Okay, well, thank you for stopping in, Red Eye. I appreciate it. Feel free to drop in any time. You found a cap recipe. Okay. Oh, God. More TVs. Found another sugar. Okay. Oh. Back here. Oh, it's a treasure chest. Awesome. Plastic and a bunch of money. Nice. The shooty ones. Kill them first. Shut them down. Okay, hold on.
Do I have anywhere on this floor I haven't visited yet? Nope, got them all. Okay. Maybe you can find a key nearby. Battle your fears. What is that? Oh my god, oh my god! Feels good! Found Sleepy Time Zine recipe. Found a key. Yo, that was weird! What did I just fight? Destroy all of this. Yeah, give me, give me, give me all the stuff. Isaac, uh, can, sir. Hmm, these look acceptable. However, I took a course in massage therapy long ago. I'll give you a massage if you like. Which would you prefer? Your hands. Be gentle. He, you think he might be blushing? Um, excellent. I'll start with your fingertips and work my way to the lower back. Just relax. When finished, you take a deep breath, lethargic, but renewably flexible, mm -hmm. too. There we are. I hope that was acceptable. Thanks. You're most welcome. It was a pleasure to be to use an old skill. Uh, yeah, I still don't have any gifts. Oh, God, it became a... It became a normal enemy. The fucking phone crab is back. Okay, that was weird. Gourmet cupcakes. Okay, cool. Oh, big TV, big TV. Oh, God. Oh, God. I don't have any healing left. I don't have any healing. I don't have any healing. Oh god. Unfortunate. Oh. Ah, oh, damn it. There was some plastic right there I could have grabbed. Wanderer. Level 7. Vagabond. 
Oh, level eight. Oh, wow. Salvager. Okay, awesome. Oh, we maxed out Isaac, too. Nice. Okay. Uh, cap recipe. Bike helmet. Let's go. Okay, let's see. And yeah, okay, gourmet cupcake, nice. Crafted pretty much all that stuff, okay. Uh, cap recipe. I need a carpet, okay. Yeah, I've got no fashion sense. I had a dream. You like museums? Yeah. Meet me at the museum. Wear something red. Sure. <laughs> Just kidding. Wear whatever you want. <laughs> a company I investigated is in a ho is hosting a thank you party. It's a bit embarrassing, but the party is hosted by Sinclair, the day app for weapons. Am I invited? Of course. I hope you can attend. It's at the Verona Hotel Ballroom. Um... To an investor's party, something, something serious. You dress with precision, every garment in, in perfect alignment. Then you wonder, what if you're overdressed? What if you look ridiculous? You change clothes until it's too late. There's no time. Finally, you pull out the first outfit back and run out the door. The lobby looks packed with the usual crowd of young software types. The entry is blocked. Private event tonight. Are you on the list? He's with Brooks Associates. Death knows everyone, huh? Isaac kisses your cheek and leads you into the party. I like your jacket. I must get your tailor's number. Thanks for coming. Your support means much to me. All this is for you? Me and the other investors and employees. I hope my father makes it. I told him this gala was his favorite charity. Where is he? Familiar face approaches with a smirk. I see Sinclair invited true VIPs. Death, is this weapon your date? He's more than just a weapon. Mm -hmm. Sure is. Deep pockets, too. A fine catch of a sword. Eric? Get fucked, dude. I'm standing right here. Sure are. Good job. Everyone loves a sharp-dressed man, hmm? Now, if you'll excuse me, I see a platter of shrimp puffs with my name on it. How does that ass know you, anyway? He owns a weapon shop. Oh, my. So there's more to his story. Isaac, what is this hellscape? The whiskey... These all have multiple malts! Good evening, father. Can we have a calm, civilized conversation? Oh. It's most certainly not the foundation for dogs attending Harvard. You told me Dr. Muffin III would be here. Uh, well, some of these people have dogs, I'm sure. These people's dogs haven't even graduated high school. What if I'm se What the fuck is with this guy? Dude, your son got a giant fancy gala all for himself, and he invited you. You could be a little bit less of a dick. Someone taps the microphone, and the music is turned off. 
a slicker executive takes the sage and starts talking about the prophet in sword smoochie. He, Vincent marches out the door. The executive starts listing all the hardships they have overcome and thanking their investors. Eventually, she names Isaac and Brooks' associates by name and a special thank you for his generosity. You notice Isaac's like smiling to himself at the speech's end. Someone turns the music back on and the dance floor starts to fill. Well, I don't think everyone, everything she said was true. My help wasn't necessary. If everyone were paid a living wage, we wouldn't need investors. We could also reduce if infrastructure inheritance, but where'd my father go? He left. Don't worry about him. If only were that easy. I'd love to pick a dialogue option that says I don't care what he thinks. Let's get some fresh air. Isaac leads you outside. Vincent and Isaac are assist and Isaac's assistants are talking. So when Isaac pooped his pants in front of the whole family. Wow, that's hilarious. Father? Oh, hi uh, Isaac. I'm gonna go. Ah, uh, my worthless son. Are you done with your farce? You're a dick! Okay? Vincent, I'm gonna tell you right now, you're a dick. I wanted to show you that my money helps people. Real people. Instead of obsessing about over how much money other has, why not take care of yourself? You don't even have a partner unless... Don't tell me you're dating this disaster. Oh! Vincent gestures in your general direction without looking at you. Hey, leave death out of this. What matters to me is that I make a difference. <laughs> Funding these boars isn't making a difference. All you're making is a fool of yourself. Oh my god, this guy is the worst. Like, the absolute worst. Vincent gets in a town car and slams the door. The driver pulls away. Isaac sighs, staring after him. Well, now I can enjoy the party without distractions, I guess. I'll take your mind off of it. Your friendship is the most valuable investment yet. He offers you his elbow with a small bow. God, I feel for Isaac. Hold any heavy attack to charge up into a more powerful move. Okay. Perhaps a small gift for the gentleman. New equipment. Blue flower. Okay. I brought you this little thing. I know it's not your style, but I'd like you to have it. I love it. Wonderful. Now, let's see what kind of music the DJ has started to play. Hmm? You rejoin the party and spend the rest of the evening together. Isaac's such a cool dude hate that his father's such a dick. I had a great time last night. Now I'm warmed up for facing your fears in the dungeon. I really hate that his father's such an ass. Found Valora in the lobby, she leads you into the huh? museum. In the first gallery, Valora glares dagger daggers at one of the sculptures. It's too perfect. Perfection is so boring. I don't trust it. I prefer paintings. Mm -hmm. Me too. So much more left to the imagination. Valora guides you through the museum without a map, according to her whim. Okay, yeah, there we go. Yay! Oh, thank you, really. She talks about art with in intimate fondness, like they're esoteric family members. Just wondering, if you could steal a painting from any museum, which one would it be? That's a loaded question. I know, they're my favorite kind of questions. You've really never thought about it before? I'd steal The Birth of Venus by Bordello. 
It's in the Museano Reyes' grand floor near the stairs. The real issue is the size. It's 3 by 2.18 meters. It would be a crime to roll it up. You thought this through, <laughs> yeah. Huh? Well, I wouldn't do to get caught, would it? Probably not. I'd miss out on the chance to enjoy my painting if I was in prison. Now it's your turn. Which would you liberate? Mm. O'Keefe's Summer Days. Skulls and flowers and curious juxtapose. Yeah, I see that one speaking to you. I hate museums as much as I love them. The idea of them, anyway. Art should be free, out in the world, not hidden away like this. But Verona Beach isn't so bad. The museum's free and open to the public. Have you heard about the new mural at the mall? Maybe we could go look at it together sometime. I'd love to know what you think. People are saying it's the Rose of Phoenix, you know, the anonymous graffiti artists. Maybe they thought Verona Beach needed a little more beauty and love. Just as you're getting to know her better, Verona's attention wanders. You look around to see what's distracting her and- Wait. This guy from the car, he's staring at the gallery entrance, glaring at you um... both. I'm sorry, I'll take care of this. She grabs by this guy by the sold shoulder and pulls him away. There's a story here we're not really hearing. She whispers to him. They look intimate, like they've known each other forever. Like, is he someone... Like, I am I feel like she's been on the run for a while. And he's someone who, like, knows of, like, her crime dealings and such. And, like, he has her by the short hairs. But she's not really saying anything about that. Like, I don't know. It, it feels like that's what's happening. She whispers to him, uh, yeah, okay. After a few moments, Valera returns, looking flushed and angry. Ah. Do you want to get out of here? You mean... You mean go home with you? Yeah, that's uh, what do you want to get out of here generally means. Uh, roll further. Enemies are confused longer. Yeah, let's roll further. Hell yes. I like her. You take Valera home to your apartment. Nice place. She's confident and knows what she wants. She figures out quickly what you want, too. After she snuggles into you, her hilt perfect in your palm, you're warm and cozy and soon fall asleep. And in the morning, she's gone. Whoa. Uh... Yeah, something's up. Morning. I want to see you again, but I need to think. Let's just dungey for a while. Let's. Oh, wow. Oh, man. Things are getting serious. Ooh. Is she afraid of commitment? Is she afraid of the commitment? I think she is. Uh, let's... Before we go on the next date, let's get everybody up to level three. Crafted all the stuff on that end. Crafted almost all the stuff there. I need more liquid to craft the single skull scotch malt. Uh... Let's leave. Oh, hey, it's these two. What's up, guys? You find Valera and Isaac relaxing together. Depending on my mood, of course, but perhaps the bright walnut and rosemary waffles I had a few summers ago. It was preferably... It was probably mostly butter, but if so, I bet it was from a very happy cow and freshly churned that day. And you? Hmm, tough call. I'd say pork ribs I had on a street corner in New Orleans, probably. I can't res resist a bit of spice. 
Boy, Death, what about you? What's the best thing you've ever eaten? It was home cooked. Describe one of your favorite food based memories. You helped your family all day with a meal until the whole house smelled like it. Felt a brief wave of homesickness just thinking about it that day. When you described it to Isaac and Valera, you felt yourself blushing. Hmm, that'd be perfect. Thank you for sharing such a lovely memory with us. Sounds like a big b commitment, but I'll try it. But at least it's one with a payoff. Maybe we should meet for cheese and wine plat eat sometime to compare notes. I'd love that. Come by my studio anytime. Just be careful not to get paint on your suit. Right, absolutely. See you soon, then. Everybody here is great. Except Eric. Eric sucks. I do not like Eric. Anything I can... Oh, yeah. yeah. Come by to... It's pliable with little effort. Okay, um... Foods probably, wire. Okay, got a lot of that. Uh, plus one steel. Surprisingly palatable, pliable with little effort. Okay, uh, yep. Yeah, no, you will not text me. Never text me again ever, you freaking psychopath. Welcome, let's see. Okay, oh, I spent all my muns. Okay, let's see. What's here? Oh yeah, I forgot. These are where the really expensive tickets are. Okay. All right, next up to We'll go with Sun Sunder this time. Yes, we're gonna start off on one. Like always. I like I like the full experience, thank you. Do you think they sell moisturizer here? One like we always do, as far as I'm concerned. Yep, let's keep going. Oh God, stop shooting at me. Challenge time, let's go. Oh, it's just the one room? Okay. Cool. Oh. Oh. I need to craft a rose? Let's take a break. Sunder watches the waterfall mesmerize. You feel in it, but you don't have anything to give. The sound of the water is almost musical. 
Not very good for dancing, though. More like trance. You think they have a music store? I guess those don't really exist anymore, but malls aren't popular anymore either, and here we are, so anything's possible. Oh well, let's keep going. Yeah, let's keep going, Sunder. We got this. Think down here. Yeah, this is where we need to go next. Big fight in the next... Oh! Cheap shot! I hate those cheap shots in the beginning. Oh, I gotta get quicker about dodging those. Alright. Yep, keep going. I'm gonna keep going asunder. Kind of wishing there was actual armor. go imagine going to a mall and then all of a sudden this tv with uh, dr octopus limbs just comes out of nowhere and starts starts firing cassette tapes at you i'm not the only one who thinks that'd be super fucking weird right Nothing like a massage to loosen up all those tight muscles. Mm. Too soon, it's over. It looks like Sunder has fallen asleep. Ooh. What? Huh? Who? Uh... I wasn't sleeping. I was just thinking. Sunder stretches like a cat and finally stands up. All right. Ready to go. Oh, yeah. We don't have any gifts. I still, So I can only make the stuff once, and it can only really go to one person. So I can't, uh, I can't use that to manipulate the system. Well, that's good to know, at least. Of course we did it. We always do it, man. Come on. We're us. Fucking badass monster slayers. Let's go. Down into the depths. Oh, cool. More cash. Let's go. Oh, you can hold the O button to run. And the triggers also use the things that are assigned to them. Okay, that's good to know. Yes, I am, actually. Oh, 
Oh, found a fashion zine recipe. Okay. How's it going, Shooty? How you feeling today? Still more to get. Let's see. Slash, 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 slash. Break all this stuff. Eh? Uh -huh. No kick, sure thing. Wink. Wink. Yeah, that's what I thought. People... Are weirder? Is it? People are weirder than, or you get to know them. But I don't judge. Eh, it's not good. Chemistry zine. Okay, cool. Well, I certainly hope your day's not going bad. And that if it is, it gets better. Let's see. Oh, challenge room. Let's go. God, the shooty bots. Oh, it's just one wave? Okay. Cool, all that money was just like uh, 250. Okay. That was in a bunch. Let's go. Ah, oh, yes, level two max. Okay, change weapon. We're gonna switch to Valera now, or Verona, yes. Can, can we fight the crab thing? It's the crab phone! Ow. Ow. Found a leather jacket recipe. Jesse says he's worried about you and one of your boyfriends. He won't tell me why, though. Are you okay, sweetie? I need advice. Was the boy with the boyfriend, I mean. I think he's lying to me. How do you choose who to love? Sounds like you're getting popular over there. I hope you'll still come home in September. We haven't talked about it, but you're magnanimous then. Not really. Then don't choose. Just check in with your partners. If you communicate, I'm sure it'll be fine. As fine as anyone is, at, anyway. Good luck out there, sweetie. Thanks. Hey, cool, we got to fight the crab thing again. That was fun. Let's go beat up more of, the, more of my internal demons. Oh god, I, I forgot it's a normal enemy past that point.
Yeah, let's take a break. Mmm, ice cream. Once some, it'll be my treat. Um, apricot gelato. Feeling fancy, huh? Uh, tastes like summer. Or at least the idea of summer. Summer here is in Verona Beach is a bit too much. If we're outside, we'd probably melt before we could even huh? eat it. What would your ideal summer vacation be? Debating the best place of the summer. You feel an impulse to it, but you don't have anything. Alright. Hmm. Nothing doing here except for a couple monsters to fight. Uh, down here, Ed. Let's go. Oh, God. I gotta be careful not to get surrounded. Why is Valera's power so fucking high? Or is it that I'm getting stronger? Ooh, another hidden area. Let's go. Oh, and more treasure. Yeah, this is a good run. I like this. Pepperoni pizza recipe. Okay. <laughs> and another. Teddy bear. Let's go. And behind the secret door is... Money and a piece of plastic. Well, not as exciting as the other two I got, but hey, you know, I'll take it. Yeah, let's keep going. Yo, what? Is that a record player? Oh, these are cassette? Uh, these are videotapes. Why didn't I notice that before? Oh, God, there's another one. Okay, oh, holy crap. Oh, you know what? I bet she's really good because she pier she does piercing damage. So she can pierce through the enemy's armor. Maybe that's the whole thing. Yeah, this looks like a normal mall area for once. Holy crap. Uh, feels nice to stretch out after a long session of stabbing monsters. When I'm a dagger, I'm more focused, but more tense, too. Does it hurt? No, no, it's good exercise. I just need to stretch afterwards. She nudges you playfully as you sit on the fountain's edge. Feeling it, but you, know, you sit together Thanks. comfortable. Thanks, that was nice. My life could use a little more peace. Now I'm ready to head back in. Ah, Valeria deserves the world. Valeria deserves the world. I don't care what anyone says. He'll survive, probably. <laughs> I got knocked out.
Okay, no, level 9. Explorer. Oh, level 10. Okay, let's go. Combatant. Oh, whoa. I am getting, like, leaps and bounds with this. Holy crap. Oh, let's go. Okay. Crafting. Uh, pepperoni pizza recipe. Yes. How did I make a pepperoni pizza out of sugar and wire? Teddy bear recipe. Oh, yeah, there's a teddy bear. Single malt scotch. Red Rose. How the fuck did I do that? Okay. I'll explain some things, please. Sure. Here's a hint for where to find me. Thanks. So she's at the park. I've been thinking and I've decided for sure. I don't want you to die. Not planning on it. Ha, uh, yeah, so wanna hang out? Summer nights are the best. No death allowed. I, you, I, you, um, uh, uh, uh Sunder. You know, it's fine. He's trying. He, he's trying. He's making an effort. I, I, I can appreciate that. Okay, anyway, we're going to go to the park now. Valerius, uh, Valeria sits on the park bench, glaring at the nearby ducks. Her expression softens as she sees you. Oh, hey, you came. I'm really glad. I'm sh I wasn't really sure if you would after how things ended. I asked you if we'd go home with me for all the wrong reasons, but I don't regret our time together. Not one um, bit. Wish I had been... I don't know. You seemed angry. I was. Not at you. I can explain, but... The sound of loud quacking interrupts her. Ah. Shut up, ducks. Can you believe that noise? I hope you're not one of those people that feeds ducks at the park. I hate ducks. I, that is true. I fucking... So, the place that I live in, we have a constant problem with geese. They're just literally everywhere. I hate those fuckers so much. Oh my god, they're so annoying. Larry's eyes light up as she grabs your arm. Me too. Hate them. Hate them. I know they're part of nature, and I should feel the oneness with all things. But ducks? Ugh. Those beady little eyes. Those snapping bills. A friend of mine lost a finger to a duck. Get too close with a piece of bread and then... Valera snaps her fingers. <laughs> Gone, just like that. That's scary. <sighs> Valeria's lips twist into a rueful grimace and she sighs. Okay, I'm maybe exaggerating, but only a little. Um... And I um, promise not to laugh. Didn't happen to a friend. It was me. Valeria holds up a hand, showing a faint scar on her index finger. I could kiss it better. She extends her hands, so look in her eye. You look her in the eyes and kiss the tip of her finger. She shivers, and you slide slides your lips down to her palm, her wrist. After a long moment, she pulls her hand back and smiles shakily. You're uh, good at that. The sound of loud quacking inter. Would you like a birding shotgun? Hmm, a, a birding shotgun? I... What's a birding shotgun? I have no idea what that is, Shooty. I can't believe you did that in front of the ducks. Whatever will they think? Ah, screw the ducks! Offer a gift, um... 
Italian American and Verona uh, Beachian. Verona Beachian is apparently a bunch of sugar and wire pressed together into a pizza. Mm, yeah. Yeah, we don't really. You decide not to give a gift right now. Next time we'll go on a date without the risk of ducks. Without the evil ducks. Attacks do critical damage to confused enemies. Oh, okay. But we were talking about something actually important before. Right. Remember I was going to awkwardly explain Jake. I'm listening. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for putting up with my procrastination. Hmm. Type of haunting shotgun made to shoot birds in flight, such as ducks or geese. Actually, yes! I would like a birding shotgun to get rid of all the geese. That would be a wonderful present, Shooty. His name is Jake. I dated him for a couple of years. Um... And, um, I dated his sister as well. At the same time, I mean. They both knew. I've barely dated anyone. Dating is the one thing where experience doesn't always make you better. You can trust me on that. I was young and in love, and I thought we'd be together forever. Jake and Jessica and me, three artists against the world. We were everything to each other. We had the same goals, believed in the same things. And then... Greed and pride and ambition got in the way, as they usually do. Jessica wanted more. More recognition, more adventure, more everything. I wanted things to stay as they were, which was foolish. Nothing stays the same. I moved to Verona Beach looking for a fresh start, and Jake followed me. I know you haven't had the best impression of him, but he's a good person, really. <laughs> he's in love with you? Maybe a little. We spent time... We were together for a long time. Is that so strange? But I think I always loved Jessica a little more. That's terrible, isn't it? It, it happens. I'm trying to make up for it now by being a good friend. As for Jake, I don't love him anymore. Not in that way. But we still have some business together, I, guess, I suppose you could say. Look, I know Jake's been a bit of an idiot following us around and all. I'll talk to him about it. Get him off our backs. For real this time. Anyway, enough about my drama. I got you a little gift. Here. Uh, oh, we got a barrette. Awesome. I saw it in the museum gift shop and thought of you. <laughs> Can't wait to try it on. You don't have to wear it, but you'll look dashing in it if you do, I'm sure. But you know, I'd love to show you my work sometime. You know, my paintings, if you want. Yeah, sure. <laughs> then it's a date. I've had new inspiration lately. Ciao. I look forward to seeing what you think next time. You have a lot to talk about as you leave the afternoon light fades in the evening. Before you come over, I gotta clean. It won't be clean clean. I'm not a numb, but this muffin from 2016 needs to be evicted. In the meantime, I found some cool art by the mall. Did you see this? Oh, I love murals. Maybe we can check it out together sometime. Okay. And now let's go meet Sunder. All right, let's go. <laughs> Is the beach down here or no? No, not there. Um, this way, maybe. Oh, there it is. You find Sunder and Manny sitting on the dune. Sunder appears to be drinking. Woo! Are we?
we celebrating? Yeah, being alive is the best, right? I wouldn't recommend it. You know, most people are dead, statistically. That's a lot of people. Really, a lot. Uh, Sunder? Sometimes, I try to calculate the number of ghosts there would be. Even if 1% of people had unfinished business, there'd be millions of ghosts. All kinds of ghosts. Sultans, schoolgirls, fashion designers, farmers, everyone. Are you really trying to be more goth than me? No, I'm being really anti-goth right now, Mandy. Keep up. I say living is like the VIP section of the universe. Then let's live it up. That's what I'm talking about. Death, what's the moment of your life where you most feel alive? Spend time chatting, looking out at the moonlit ocean. Eventually there's silence and Manny clears her throat. I'm getting hungry. You must be too, Sunder. How about a snack? Manny looks at you curiously. Sure, a snack sounds good. You're that lover boy? He's up for it too. Cut out, Mandy. What, you haven't told about our little hobby? What hobby? Mandy, just go home if you're feeling antsy. Suit yourself, just don't stay out too late. The sun comes up in summer. Mandy slinks away into the evening. Sunder glares after her. Sunder sighs apparently at a loss for words. What hobby? I don't want to talk about it. Not right now. Ch well, I do. Please, tell me. Pointedly ignores you, what you said, and instead rubs your arms gently. Sunder's hands aren't in, but the friction helps you relax a little. He takes off his jacket and settles it around your arms. New equipment, cool shades. Here, I also got you a little gift. I always wake up too late to use them. Thanks. And I know you said you want the truth. I... I've been thinking about that. I guess I saw some things... I'm not ready to talk about. Okay, so Sunder's got a bit of a dark past. It looks like he's starting to shiver. Let's just forget about this and I'll walk you home where it's warm. Yeah. You walk together through Verona Breach until you arrive at your building. You give him his jacket back, he puts it on gratefully. I know you're probably furious with me right now, but just listen for a sec, okay? Before Mindy ran her mouth, I had so much fun with you tonight. Usually around now I get the summertime blues, but with you I feel so alive. Aw. Oh, bleeding does more damage now, as if it wasn't OP as fuck already. Like, all my dark thoughts don't weigh me down. And honestly, I don't want to go back to my lonely apartment. It's like a crypt. I'd kick myself later if I didn't ask. Can I come in? Please do. Can I get a few kisses here? You linger on the street corner before leading him upstairs. He waits outside the apartment politely until you invite him in. Wow, I like your place. You have good taste. I'm a little nervous, but I want to treat you right. You spend the evening together. He's athletic and attentive, singularly focused on making you feel good. You notice his skin and blade remain strangely cold to the touch, no matter how long you cuddle. You want, want another blanket? Sure, why not? No harm being extra cozy. You snuggle up a few, and a few dozen times before he staggers to his feet, pulling his clothes back on. Can't wait until next time, but some things, but got some things to do tonight. Later, hotness. He lets himself out, and you soon fall asleep. Okay. I just want to say, you're cooler. The more I get to know you, so thanks. You too. Let's dungey. Alright, uh, let's see what Jesse's got.
probably who is it? Go to Paradise Lost tomorrow at noon. She'll meet you there. She's wearing a blue jacket. Great. And don't forget to smile. Hmm. Fake smiles are bad. Never mind. Smiling optional. Okay. All right. So let's see who the new sword is. Uh, all of them. That's not a real answer, you know. But it's true that every cat deserves love. Hmm. Uh, I'm meeting someone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you're meeting me, right? <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, I thought Jesse told you. He set us up. And, oh, I forgot to take off my work apron. One second. Olivia takes off the apron with a smile. I mean, I guess this is kind of a date, but it doesn't have to be. We can just hang out and pet cats. I don't really like dates anyway. Mm. Who wants to play some game of trying to guess the right thing to say? And then you flirt and start, uh, and you're supposed to start kissing? It's all so fake. Mm, what about dating swords? Everyone's got their own thing. I'd have to try it and see. Olivia frowns slightly, eyes focused in the distance. Wait, don't look behind you, but I think someone's watching us in the window. Corner her eye, but you don't see anyone. Hmm, they've gone. Maybe I was imagining things. An elegant cat walks uh, up and sits nearby, staring at you curiously. I didn't recognize this one. Who are you, kitty? Are you new here? She's so cute. May I ever pet you, perhaps? Olivia reaches up, but the cat stalks away, tail in the air. I guess I offended her. Spend some time with Olivia chatting and petting cats. That was nice. See you around. Um, can I walk you home? But I don't think so. Thanks, but no thanks. It's nice to chat, but you're a little too intense for me, to be honest. Okay, no problem. Uh, so if any of my friends become single, I'll let you know. But, uh, with a blush. The cat gives you a pitying look. Here, 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 kitty, kitty, till you feel uncomfortable. You head home. Oh, man. What? What? Uh, hold on. I guess it... Uh, what didn't? You know, your date with that cute uh, coffee cutie. I've been there. I know how it feels to be rejected. They think you're so much better than us. They don't know you. You're better than... Uh, was this fuck sick stalking me? Sorry if I'm awkward. You're just so... Hit. Oh my god. I do not like this guy. I am really fucking uncomfortable with Eric. We're friends, maybe? Ah, sweet. Friends are the best. This is progress. Now you have experience and skills. If you want to change up your weapon combos, go check out the gym in town. And the most romantic holiday ever is around the corner. Uh, Valentine's? No, silly. Fourth of July. Nothing's more romantic than a barbecue and fireworks. Actually, you know what? I agree with Jesse. Barbecue and fireworks are way better than chocolates and flowers. You think I'm joking, but wait and see. I met my partner, Samantha, at the barbecue. It's gold. You, well, I'll, you'll be all, yeah. I'll send you details soon. Ugh. Okay, um... Auto saving.
Yeah, that, that time of the year where Americans try to blow up the sky. How do I quit the game? Is there a way to quit the game? I like that one. Hmm. Well, you know what? I, I think I just need to close it because it does auto save. So yeah, it auto saves pretty frequently. All right. Um, thank you to everybody who came in. I'm going to look for someone to raid real quick. Boop -a -doop -a -doo. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, oh God, everybody's playing Tears of the Kingdom. I don't want to get spoiled. All right, all right. Um, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and raid Gary, since he's the only one not playing that right now. Uh, as always, uh, thank you to everybody who came in, who lurked, who followed, who chatted, and uh, I appreciate every one of you. And this has been a trip. I love this game. I actually, I think I love this game. Actually, oh my god. So, uh, anyways, thank you, everybody, and as always, boneheads, I'll see you on the other side. Take care, everybody. Oh, hold on, it's... Let me... Yeah, let me leave. Okay, bye.